Hello and welcome to SaaS Guru. In this video, we will start mapping data imported from Salesforce CRM org. We will start with mapping a contact that was imported using the Service Cloud Bundle, review its mappings, and make necessary adjustments. Once all the data is imported from both Salesforce CRM and AWS S3, run the jobs if they have not completed and make sure that all the data is successfully imported into the data cloud. The next step is mapping these DLOs into their respective DMOs. We will start with the contact object, which was imported with the help of a service cloud data bundle. Click on contact and you will see that 40 contact records were imported successfully. On the right, you will see data mapping in which 36 fields are already mapped. Let us review them. You will see that the contact is mapped to the account contact by default. We are not going to use this DMO. Scroll to the bottom, and you can see that some of the fields in the address are mapped. Contact point email, the email address field, and contact point phone ID, party, and telephone number are mapped. But there is a warning that says for segmentation resolution and activation formatted E164 phone number needs to be mapped here. We are going to do that. Select the phone on the left phone field and look for it. We will map the business phone with the E164 phone contact point formatted E164 phone number and save it. Going back to mapping, the contact DLO is mapped to the account contact DMO. The contact point address DMO, the contact point email DMO, the contact phone DMO, and finally, the individual. These mappings are created by default using the service cloud data. Keep it that way and close this.